Hi and welcome. Kerberos is a network authentication protocol which is used when a client wants to access a resource over a network from a server. So it is a network access control for client to server authentication and this authentication is mutual. So Kerberos uh, term originated from uh, the Greek mythology Cerberus and it was a three headed dog and uh, these three heads of the dogs are represented by the triple A services offered by the Kerberos protocol that is the authentication, authorization and accounting. And but this is basically a protocol for authentication and some uh, references say that the three heads are represented by client, server and key distribution center or KDC. So Kerberos uh, was formulated in mid 80s as part of MIT project Athena. Now all operating systems including Windows, uh, Unix, Linux, Mac uh, support this protocol and this is a default authentication protocol for uh, Windows system. So it is basically a single sign on uh, protocol that user has to log in only once and then he is authorized access to the resources over the network. So there is no password which is installed on the local host and password is inserted by the user on the runtime. So it is an access control protocol in distributed and heterogeneous environment and it is open source and scalable and transparent and very very flexible. And uh, therefore different vendors have uh, different implementation of this Kerberos protocol which sometimes uh, cause interoperability issues between implementation of different vendors. So in Kerberos protocol we trust on a third party and this third party is key distribution center and uh, there is no password which is transferred in clear form over the network and everything is encrypted. And uh, the Kerberos protocol relies on symmetric key encryption where the same key is used on the both end of the communication. And Kerberos version 5 uh, mandates the AES that is advanced encryption standard and uh, the RFC 3962 actually mandates this. And there are other protocols uh, or other encryption algorithm which are supported by Kerberos 5 that is the data encry encryption standard DES or triple DES and RC4. Therefore Kerberos provides end to end security using uh, these uh, symmetric keys protocols uh, algorithms. So it is basically based on a ticketing system where the client is issued with a ticket to a resource to access it. So Kerberos pro provide protection against the sniffing and eavesdropping attack and moreover the replay attack. And therefore it maintains the confidentiality of the network information and also the system and it provides integrity of the information that any unauthorized modification uh, to the information will be detected. Moreover, there is no pre-shared key or a key which is shared uh, between the principles and principles are the client and the server. So everything is trusted on the third party or is communicated through the third party that is the KDC while communicating between the principal that is the uh, server and the client. So principles can be a user application and service and a server. So there is a master key or a pre-shared uh, password. Um, in case of the user, this master key is a pre-shared password which is shared or maintained over the KDC uh, or on the KDC database. That is the key distribution center. So user enters his credential on the local host and then the system will encrypt his username with the hash of the password using AES. So this password hash of the user will be used as a key to encrypt the username uh, using AES and this key will, will say it the key one. So total there are around five keys that is the key one and key one not that is the key of the other principal that is the server and this key one is the uh, key of the user or the client and then there is the key two and key three and key four. So total of five keys which I will describe now. So Realm is actually a domain and it is actually a set of principle uh, where this KDC act as a third trusted party. 
between uh, the client and the resource over the network or the uh, server. So this uh, KDC is a trusted third party and all the principal including uh, the uh, client and the server are registered with this KDC and there is a database of their usernames and password and keys which is maintained on this uh, KDC and uh, Active Directory that, uh, domain services actually provide uh, uh, this uh, can provide this kind of services. So KDC can be used as an authentication uh, server or as a key distribution. So AS or authentication server <coughs> can be hosted on the KDC or on a separate server. And but for the sake of this video, we'll take it uh, on a separate server. So it basically authenticate a user or a client, and it also decrypt the username which was transmitted by the client uh, using the password hash of the uh, user. So once the user enters his uh, credentials, that is username and password, then his username will, is encrypted with the hash of the password and this hash is uh, then, uh, this encrypted username is transmitted over the network. Then this authentication server receives this uh, encrypted username and decrypt it with, his, uh, uh, with the same key because KDC contains uh, or maintains this key. So it verifies that the user belongs to the KDC or the, to the, this entire Kerbal system. And uh, then uh, after authentication, uh, the authentication uh, AS then issues a session key that is the second key in Kerberos protocol. And this hash, uh, session key is encrypted with the uh, password hash of the uh, user. So that user can decrypt uh, this session key and can use this session key for further communication with the uh, KDC in future. And this authentication server also uh, issue a ticket granting ticket. And but this ticket granting ticket is encrypted with the ticket granting service uh, key. And therefore, the uh, these two parameters that is the session key and the TGT are transmitted in encrypted form to the uh, client but client can only decrypt this session key that is key 2 but uh, he cannot decrypt this TGT because this TGT is in only encrypted or, or can be decrypted with the TGS key which is known only to the TGS or ticket granting service. So later on uh, the client replay this uh, TGS and uh, this, uh, 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 sorry, the client replay this TGT and this TGT is validated by the TGS uh, since it is decrypted using the TGS key, that is the key 3. So this entire uh, encryption and decryption is based on symmetric key, that is the same key is both uh, used on the both end of the communication. Then the TGS issues uh, two things that is the service ticket and also the uh, a second session key that is for uh, communication between servers to client. So this service ticket is encrypted with the server key and because this server uh, is a principal so we call this key as a key one not. And it also issue this uh, se a second session key that is uh, the key for communication between the client to server directly. Now in this case no KDC is involved in between. So this is a second session key. And this ses the second session key is encrypted uh, with the earlier session key that was issued uh, for communication between the KDC. So that client can decrypt this second session key for communication with the server. So client cannot decrypt this service ticket because it is encrypted and with the server key which is only known to the server. So these all keys are maintained on the KDC and on the principal as well. Uh, later on uh, this service ticket is replayed by the uh, uh, client in encrypted form because he cannot decrypt it. So uh, the resource server will decrypt this ST uh, using his own key and uh, this also performs as a mutual authentication because if it is decrypted by the server it means that server is a legitimate one. 
and for example client wants to access a print server or a file server so it will uh, first get the uh, service ticket from the TGS and then uh, it will play this uh, service ticket to the server uh, using the second session key of the server and the server will decrypt uh, this ST and will uh, allow client to access uh, the print or file resource. So there are certain issues with the uh, this entire Kerberos protocol that is uh, the KDC is a single point of failure and if it is compromised then everything is compromised because KDC contains all the keys of all the principles and all other keys. Moreover if the KDC is, uh, goes offline then there is no authentication which will be performed between any uh, resource or any principal on the network. And moreover there is a time restriction of 5 minutes after uh, that uh, this uh, authentication credentials will be invalidated and there is uh, no further authentication will be uh, possible. And moreover no, uh, no TGT will be issued. So after 5 minutes this TGT will be invalid and it will not be issued or reissued again. So this is the entire diagram of this protocol. And uh, so in step 1 the client encrypt uh, the username with the password hash and it transmit this encrypted username to the authentication uh, service server. And then this authentication server uh, after uh, decrypting the username with the same password hash because it is a symmetric key encryption uh, that is same key is used for encrypt uh, encryption and decryption it will then provide two pieces of information that is the first session key that is key 2 and the TGS key which is encrypted with TGT key and this TGS key will uh, 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 sorry this TGT is encrypted with TGS key so this TGT will not be uh, in plain text and the user will only uh, play this TGT in encrypted form to TGS. So the user then play this uh, TGT to the TGS and after uh, validating this TGT by decrypting with the TG, uh, TGS key then TGS provide again the two pieces of information that is the second session key and uh, the service ticket. And uh, this service ticket is again encrypted with the file server key that is the key one dash, uh, key one not. So uh, the user will not be able to see it or it will play it in encrypted form. So user can only decrypt the second session key and first session key. And uh, then again uh, in final step, the user will request resource from the fi file server and it will play the uh, service ticket in encrypted form. So file server will decrypt this uh, uh, session, uh, the, this uh, service ticket with its own key and it will allow user to access. So this was all uh, from my side. Please stay connected to my channel for similar news. Thank you.